Hello there, my name's Kevin and today I'm going to tell you what's new in the just released Directus version 10.10. .10. The Directus Marketplace Beta. Directus 10.10 .10 introduces the Directus Marketplace Beta and we are incredibly excited about it. You can use it to discover and install extensions in your Directus project directly from the Data Studio. And regardless of whether you are self-hosting or using Directus Cloud, the marketplace will be available to you. It is in beta right now, so we really are relying on your feedback in order to make it even better. You can give feedback over in our Discord in the Marketplace Beta channel. Content versioning enhancements. When querying content versions that have relational data, we are now performing a deep merge before returning the data to you. In practice, this means that the data structure, if you are, and the data structure if you aren't using content versioning is now the same. This is particularly useful when using live preview and content versioning. Now, instead of needing to account for two different data structures, you can just use one. Breaking changes. This version of Directus also has a small number of breaking changes that I wanted to draw your attention to. Firstly, we have removed the extension subdirectories. So previously, if you self-host Directus inside of your extensions directory, there was a further subdirectory for each extension type. They're gone now. All the extensions go directly in the extensions directory. There's also some metadata that's required inside of your package.json file if it isn't already there. Next, if you have set up single sign-on or used the authentication service in your extensions, take a look at the changes to how the app now handles session cookies. We are simplifying it, but there may be small changes that you need to make. And finally, due to an open redirect vulnerability with the OAuth2 OpenID and SAML SSO providers, we have now introduced an allow list for these redirects. So you may need to set a couple of environment variables to add the redirect URLs to the allow list. Community contributions. Since Directus version 10.9.0, we have had a number of community contributions. And in this section, we thank the authors. Thank you to Michael for improving the detail when there is an incomplete SAML response. Thank you to Florian for a bunch of contributions to our translation features and also for cleaning up some padding for the builder buttons. Thank you to Riley for changing up how we validate UUIDs and also for cleaning up a bug around checking roles. And finally, thank you to Davian for making our update data flow operation more flexible. You can now update multiple items with unique values. This of course is just a highlight. There are more features, optimizations and bug fixes in Directus version 10.10, .10, which is now available on NPM and Docker Hub. We hope you love it and please do give us feedback around the marketplace beta. And until next time, bye for now.